How's it going guys? I'm of course Paradise and we're back with another Monster Hunter Rise video and I thought I would mix it up a bit for this one and instead of doing something a bit more informational or interesting about the weapons or different things in the game I thought we would go to the Talisman Melding which is of course like where you're going to be spending a lot of your times farming to get those perfectly god rolled talismans. So what I've done actually here guys is I've queued up a whole buttload of talismans of the highest rarity the wisp of mystery ones um and each one of these will actually have five talismans so this should be 50 talismans that are completely randomly rolled because you can't snipe a particular skill with this uh wisp of mystery one the last one that you basically get the rebirth one is to recycle your old talismans so we probably i'll probably be doing a bunch of rebirths after this to be honest but I have got pretty bad luck with talismans so far. So I'm kind of really hoping that we get some good ones here. I'm re I really do hope. I really want a good weakness exploit one. I really want... Uh, I just I just want to see what we can get. So uh, I thought it would be cool because there's literally 50 of them that we're about to get. And let's just check it out, guys. Because there's... there's oh, there's quite a lot to go through. Uh, there's not as much red here as I would like. But we've already started off with attack boost, speed eating 2, and a level 1. That's kind of that's kind of decent, you know. You know what? We'll that's kind of decent. We'll go through them one by one. Then maybe we'll we'll get rid of the really bad ones. So like affinity slide, windproof. It has a level two slot and a level one, but it's not that good. We'll we'll remove that. Ooh, ooh, I like to see anything that has maxed out um, skills in them. Like paralyze resistance three is like super situational. Leap of Faith as well. I'm not a huge fan of Leap of Faith because it, it throws me off. It, it basically lets you Superman dive towards the monster, I believe, uh, which I am not used to doing. So it, it usually ends up being a negative for me. So I like that it's maxed out on a couple skills there, but not amazing. Uh, Fortify one, eh, but Bubbly Dance is actually quite a cool one to have. If you can get like several uh, levels of Bubbly Dance on a Talisman, that reduces the amount of gear pieces you need from uh, Mitsune. And that just, so that's, actually, that's kind of decent to have that on a talisman at all. Uh, me, like, mediocre water attack, and when you're using water attack, you don't really want water resistance, so not too great there. Windproof, peak performance, peak performance is nice, windproof is a bit meh, so not that great. Slugger too, and bludgeoner, that's kind of decent if you were doing, like, a hammer build, maybe a hunting horn build as well. But a level 1 slot is a real letdown. I feel like any talisman that you use, unless they have really high rolls on them, uh, they need to have at least a level 2 decoration. So that one's interesting, but not the best. Another rarity 7. This one's wide range level 1, fire resistance level 1, 2 1 slots in a level 2. Uh, it's not really, not really the best roll. Like for a, wi a wide range build, obviously, is going to be okay. But you can get you could roll higher to be honest, so not great. Level three agitator, eh? Punishing draw level one and rarity three, eh? Oh man, some of these. I mean, reload speed two is very good for the bow. Um, and stamina thief, you know, the bow does deal KO damage, so not terrible. But level three and it doesn't have any decorations. I feel like you've got to be quite picky with these decorations because you only got one slot for your build, so they need to they need to be a good one, really. Recoil down, no, 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 ice resistance. We don't want that. Poison and dragon attack together. I don't even think that a weapon can do that. I like to see the this one's got rapid morph, which is actually kind of a sick skill. But Rarity 4 with Sleep Resist, not great. Carving Pro, Counter-Strike, mm, not the best. Oh, guys, there's so many to go through here. I'm going to have to speed up a bit. So Thunder Attack, Part Breaker 2, eh, it's kind of rolled low. Speed Sharpness, Thunder Attack 1. These, like, if it's not Rarity 6 or 7, they generally just aren't, aren't worth it. They just don't have enough on them. Earplugs, Affinity Slide. Here we go, Rarity 7, and we got Fortify 1 and Sleep Attack 1. These... Guys, if this was if we were opening Pokemon cards, we have not got any of the chase cards yet. Jeez. Uh Thunder Attack 1, Quick Sheath 1, and two level 2s. Okay. This rolled really bad with the skills. Like Quick Sheath is actually quite good, but Thunder Attack is quite situational. But two level 2s on any talisman is actually quite nice. So that, that's kind of decent just for the fact that it's two level 2s. Uh Maximum Might with Rapid Fire Up. This has potential, actually. This actually has 
real potential for the bow. Uh, rapid fire up for bow is, is, is a hard skill to get on armor. Uh, and then maximum might is kind of decent, but you, you're not really always maxed out on stamina. So you'd only be using this for the rapid fire up and it's all right. It's, it's okay, I would say. That's okay. Uh, critical eye, tremor is this? No. Rapid morph is nice, but it's just too low level. Same again, just not enough not enough rolls on some of these lower rarity ones. Stun resist, defense boost, a bit too defensive for my liking. Uh, recovery up with bubbly dance one, a level two and a level one slot. That's actually kind of decent. Um, recovery up is just nice to have. Bubbly dance actually could has potential synergies with other skills because it's a status like that's on yourself. That's that's decent. That's okay. That that's potentially usable for a build. Uh, speed sharpening wall runner two, mm, just not the best. Like speed sharpening two is nice, but you could get better talisman rolls to be honest. Steadiness one thunder attack two with a two a one and a one slot. Whoa. Okay. I guess if you're doing like a thunder bow gun build, that could actually be pretty nice to be fair that could be pretty nice we got we did i feel like we haven't got anything spectacular yet which is such a shame because this is 50 talismans that we just rolled oh my gosh um so we got paralyzed resist bubbly dance again i like to see bubbly dance on these decorations because i think there is build potential but not for a rarity four you know guys oh, guys put in the comments down below what's your best talisman so far because if you're having luck like me Right now, this is not looking great. We still got a few more to go through, though. Wybug Whisperer. Always love to see Wybug Whisperer on a talisman, but water resistance and two level ones. That's not what we want. Normal rapid up and dragon resistance. Uh, it's not that great. Poison attack, counter strike, a two and a one. Maybe for a poison attack build, but you can get poison attack decorations, so you don't really want to spec that on your talisman. Slugger and Bludgeoner, again, that's the same combo as before that we had, so not, not terrible, but not great. Bombardier, Hunger Resist, oh, that's a pass. Stun Resistance, Steadiness, that's a pass. Master Mounter and Windproof, mm, I'm gonna, these are not, these are not great. Resistances again, ooh, this one's a kind of maxed out. Flinch, free, level three, and Steadiness, level two. I guess there's potential there for like certain Bowgun builds where you need Flinch, free. I don't know though. No decoration slots, only rarity 5. It's always exciting when you see them maxed out, but if they don't have those decoration slots, you can't always use them, you know? Light resist 1, diversion 1, and 3 level 1s? I don't think I don't think that's a great combo. I mean, maybe if you're making like a tank build, like having diversion and having blight resistance is probably going to be decent. Um, but 3 level 1s, like no level 2 or level 3, so it's kind of like meh. Agitated Bludgeoner, both at level 2. There could be a build made for that. That's kind of... That could be okay. Evade Window and Ice Attack and a level 2 slot. Mm, not sure about that one. Another Agitator one. Straight Downgrade from the last one with an extra level 1 slot. Uh, not that great. Ooh, level 2 Attack Boost and a level 1 slot. There is potential there. That could be decent for a raw build. Like it is hard to slot in those attack uh, attack boost level two decorations, you know. Jump master one and a level one. I don't know. I guess if you really want jump master, that could be good. Uh, recoil down, resuscitate. Mm, not great. Guard level three. Now that there are some builds that benefit with guard, but they're more tank builds, you know. Ooh, I'd love to see a good botanist. <laughs> decoration <laughs> that's just what you want you know oh man i do actually like botanist decorations i like to make gathering sets uh so that might go on my ga one of my gathering sets because it has a level two and a one obviously the bombardier is kind of like you don't really need that if anyone guys if you've ever got a botanist and geologist role on a talisman please let me know because i'll be jealous like that is like, that's the perfect if you had geologist and botanist that's perfect for a gathering set, you know. Well, last one. Speed eating and free meal. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like we got some, we got some stinkers here, guys. So we got speed eating, two attack boost, one with a slot. Kind of meh. Fortify bubbly dance. I like it for the bubbly dance and the level two slot. 
Thunder Attack Quick Sheath. This one is only really good because it has two level two slots, which is actually kind of nice. So like if you had a Thunder Longsword build, uh, you know, with the Quick Sheath with Thunder Attack and then two level twos to slot in like two levels of critical element or something. That's kind of cool. So that, that one's actually quite good. Uh, the Steadiness Thunder Attack, again, ugh, what was this roll with these Thunder Attack ones? Again, could be good for a Bowgun build, so that's kind of okay. Recovery up Bubbly Dance, I, I, I like to see the Bubbly Dance, I want to make a build for it. Uh, maximum right Rapid Fire, kind of niche, but, but it has Rapid Fire up. It's a Rapid Fire up is a hard skill to get on armor, so it, that's decent. Agitator Bludgeoner, I, uh, there, potential there, but not that good. And then Attack Boost, again, potential there, but not that good. I feel like we got a few okay rolls, but nothing really like God Rolly or that I'm like super hyped over. Just a few nice ones for a few builds that you could make. Uh, you know, around Thunder Attack, really. Maybe I'll try out these Bubbly Dance ones as well. Maybe I can get a build out of those. But yeah, there we go, guys. That was 50 decorations. I'm not even joking. That's 50 of the Wisp of Mystery decorations. The that I think that's the best one to do, uh, but we just didn't get that good rolls today. Um... Uh, well, that was it, guys. I, I had to hunt a lot to get all the parts and to, to fill it out and then to complete 10 hunts so that we could hand them all in together. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see another talisman uh, uh, like opening like this one, because I actually thought it was quite a fun idea. Um, it's a quite a good way to get a gauge of like what to expect from the RNG. Obviously, we got like we got some OK ones. We got some really rubbish ones. So let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this one. I'll gladly prep another one for you guys and get it recorded. Um, it's just a bit of fun, you know. Let me know what your best talisman is down in the comments below as well so I can be jealous of it. <laughs> I hope you're staying safe out there, guys. Drop a like and sub for more videos like this one. And uh, basically, that's it, guys. And until next time, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.